are remnants of a power park. Uh, we're here with Total Wrecking, and they are clearing out this site. You may have seen the site before. We were brought out here previously to film the implosion, which was the main event of clearing out this site. But it's over a year later, and they're still working. There's a lot involved when clearing out a site like this. Yeah, these these were all buildings. No, they blew it up, man. There's a there's a lot of a lot of mess. Remember when your mom would make you like clean your room when you were a kid, and like how it long take, did that take? Like a year and a half. Yeah, how long? Look at I how mean, big this room is. It's a big room. <laughs> take me so long to clean up all this. We're brought back here today because they've encountered a pretty unique problem. These were our circulating water lines. Uh, so you moved the cooling towers that were over here. They were the pipes that are nine foot in diameter that took water from the power block over to the towers to cool okay. it down. So they run under a road. So we have to fill them in to make sure they never destroy the road. So, but we need to know how much material we have to bring in to yeah. do that. You want to or get a look inside the pipes. That is going to be real tight. Do you think we can do it though? Maybe you can do it. You don't think you can get in there? Oh, I can get in there. It's getting out would be a little it's tricky. It's getting back out. There's a section that they can't get to because there's road and railroad tracks going over it. So they actually need to backfill those. And why we're here is to get a look on the inside so that they know how much material they need to fill it up and if there's anything else in there that they need to know about before they start the filling process. So we have like a screen well, that, and we'll be able to plug it into our goggles and it'll give you a live HD video. Will that record it? Have, yes. If the drone actually goes down yeah. so you don't lose the footage? So we'll be able to record multiple. I'm not going to send like an action camera because I don't want to risk that. The goggles that I'll be wearing will record onto the goggles themselves a 720p image and that we get no matter what. So even if the drone goes down and it's gone, we'll at the very least get that 720p so image. goggles are a much better resolution than they were when you came out last yeah, year. Last time we were using an analog system. Right. So now we've got new digital systems have come out like very recently. No, and it's like... You haven't noticed any experience lag? Because I know you said that was a big part of the reason That's you so used the That's so funny to remember that. That's so funny. Yeah, we did not prompt him on that question. Uh, that Well, that was always the biggest problem with digital before. Because this wasn't the first time they tried to do digital, but before when you did digital or HD, there was big latency problems. And now it is a little bit more than the analog system. The analog is technically still a little faster, but it's very marginal. And the benefit to having that visibility, it's like, it's crossed that, that trade off. And the image is so much better. Like, I think I can fly better with it, even if there is maybe one or two more milliseconds. Not too long. It's it's still pretty long compared to how small it is. Maybe this entrance will be more clear. Yeah, fly through is not possible. Not flying through. Okay, so we gotta turn around and come back. They said it's completely blocked off on this side, so we pretty much have to go down the tunnel, turn around, and return. It's definitely a lot harder if you gotta turn around and come back. I really think we're losing a drone today. Oh, yeah, I, I, I totally think we're losing a drone. Probably mine, the height is really concerning. We got these uh, right. Cinewhips hooked up with LED lights because nice. it's also going to be dark in there. So Edwin just got here. This is one of the best pilots in Florida. We brought him out here. We want to have all the skill available to us. This is looking like it's going to be a pretty difficult mission. Yeah, we might just make this Edwin's problem to deal with. Oh, just don't nice. lose our drone because they can't send anyone down there because this is like a slide, right? So they've excavated it as much as they can, but like you couldn't send a person in there because it could just yeah, bury them alive, right? Nerves of steel. That's why we brought him here. So this is the DJI Smart Controller, and it's the device you need if you want to get video out onto a screen from the goggles. So this is going to plug into Edwin's goggles. We just plug this USB in right here. Let's have a look, and we can do another run if they if they need it. Holy crap! Holy crap! It's right there. Oh my gosh, he made it out. That was insane. Oh my god. That was insane. Woo! Oh man, look at all the mud you got on there. Oh my god. 
That's crazy. It's back. You made it back? Woo! Grab a footage review. Nope. How well could you see? The light worked really well, dude, but all I could see was a long ass hallway, just uh-huh. Just nothing but darkness at the end. Long, yeah. scary hallway of water. That's pretty badass. Dude, you went deep in there? Is that enough? Uh, is that a good view? Dude, that is a scary view coming out of there. Yeah. It like you were coming backwards and then you rotated like right at the last minute before the rebar. I was scared to turn around, dude. You were scared to yaw in there because it's so yeah. it's so hard to yaw without tapping the throttle by accident. And if you start drifting towards the wall, like and you yeah. start overcorrecting and stuff, uh -huh. you're gonna, it's going to die. So the other thing they want to have us do here is get some aerial flyovers. So they want to show some kind of before and after so they have drone shots before the demolition started. So we're going to get just some flyover shots. Then we're going to get some freestyle in. We're just going to make a round around the entire site. They've got a couple of zones that they want to get footage of. For going into the pipe and doing that inspection, we didn't want to risk any uh, action cameras, so we were just using the footage that came straight off the air unit or was recorded to the goggles. Uh, now that we're not really going to be flying in a pipe that we might not uh, recover from, we're going to be throwing some action cameras. we got the DJI Osmo action here so that we'll actually get like a good 4K image. And we'll just give you the screen and you can just tell us where to steer. Alright, now fly around, see the building on your right there? Oops, spin around, there you go. Okay. Uh, I told you everything you need in this area. That's it. Okay. Can they get a quick flight here to Absolutely. get some? Absolutely. I bet it goes. between the grapple and the cab of the crane. Yeah. There's a wrecking ball that they're just dropping down and down. This is not something that they mentioned we were gonna get to do today, but apparently they want some footage of this machine going, and I'm just wanting to dive it as they drop the ball. I think that would be so cool. Awesome. Oh, so oh my gosh, that was so sick. We'll go over there and tell him if you want to, you want to get a battery oh, pack ready. We just got approval to do a crane dive. He said the guys were dying to try to crush a drone or something. What did he say? Yeah. Nice. yeah. When we first got here, he was like, no, nah, they're not going to go for it. And they see the quads and they're like, like well, I mean, yeah, maybe. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Uh, we do it after all, actually, because uh, I want to crush that thing. No, I told him next time he picks it up, pick it all the way to the top. Yeah. <laughs> So I went down in the puddle. It was awesome. My drone's like, <laughs> yeah, I went through the splash and I was like, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Come on, come on, oh, come, yeah. on come on, come on, come on, come on. I went straight for it. Full commit. John Prep. No way he got it back. A couple of new propellers and he's good to go, I think. Yeah. That's wild. 
thanks for watching the episode. We did a lot of crazy stuff at the construction site, and uh, we didn't lose anything, so that's really good. Uh, not a single drone was lost. I, was, I got mine back. I was fully prepared to lose one. The score is that you're actually plus one drone, right? Because you yeah. should have lost that one. I got a couple extra cat lives today. Yeah, well this is awesome. I think it's really cool to get to use drones in kind of like a unique way to help perform some inspections and get some of the aerial shots that they want to show the progress on this excavation. A big shout out to Total Wrecking for bringing us out here. Thanks to DJI for sponsoring this episode. Digital System did great with all the long distance flying that we had to do. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button to let us know you had a good time. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'm Ladrib. And let's fly our sea. And we'll see you guys next time.